Now let's head over to Cheney where Eastern Washington was hosting Cal Poly and a homecoming for the former head coach Paul Wolf. Look at that return to Inland Northwest. Opening kickoff for the game, Michael Wortham takes the return for the Eagles, gets a few nice blocks and breaks free. Looks like he might take this to the house, but eventually will be taken down at the 15-yard line. Aaron Best told Wortham after that, you can't get taken down by a guy wearing 69 when you're wearing 13. Come on, man. But no problem because next play, Tuna Altieri gets the handoff, takes it to the outside. He's in for the game's first score less than 30 seconds into this one. After a Mustangs turnover, Eagles go right back to work. This time is Justin Jackson getting the nod, goes untouched into the end zone. E uh, Eastern putting up more than 200 yards on the ground today. But the defense also getting it done on the afternoon in the second. Eagles rolling. Quarterback Sam Heward hit as he throws. The ball falls into Cage Schneck's uh, hands, perfectly timing that one for a pick six. Eastern goes on to win this one big, 48-13. We get to learn how to play with momentum and play with the lead, which is something we've struggled with. So I think that was a good game where we had the lead the whole game and we kept it and we just kept building on it and building on it. So it was important for us. Um, we all talked about just energy. Like We felt like we've been kind of dead in the past couple of weeks. So come, being able to come out and start that fast uh, was pretty awesome. I mean, you just see on the sideline energy and it just helped um, bring special teams and defense along, um, just get the team flowing together. Now, Eagles are going to hit the road one more final time this season. A quick trip over to Bozeman to take on sixth-ranked Montana State.